Hello viewers. Today we'll connect Domtis to our SunOff TH using SunOff Tasmata firmware. Let's configure SunOff Tasmata first. Press the SunOff TH button four times quickly and SunOff will boot in access point mode. Connect your computer to SunOff access point using Wi-Fi. Open the web interface by visiting Tasmata default IP address and input your router's credentials in respective field. Save the changes and Sonoff will reboot to connect to your Wi-Fi router. Visit your router web interface and find the IP address of newly attached Sonoff device. You may consult your router manual for this purpose. Now Sonoff web interface can be accessed by visiting IP address assigned to Sonoff by your router DHCP server. First of all choose the correct Sonoff module by visiting the module configuration page. Choose correct module and attached sensor using drop down menu otherwise Sonoff device will not work as expected and sensor data will not be fetched. Save the change to take effect. Unit will reboot in few seconds. Input MQTT broker address and credentials under MQTT configuration page. Host is the IP address of your computer running MQTT broker. You can set the topic to client ID which is specific for each Sonoff device. Input MQTT username and password correctly and save the changes. Sonoff will reboot once again and web interface will be accessible again in few seconds. There is no sensor data being displayed. Let's check out our module configuration once again. We have to save the correct module type first and then select appropriate sensor otherwise sensor data will not be saved. Yes. Sensor data is now available in web interface. Now our Sonoff is ready to be attached with Demotas. Sonoff TH is a switch coupled with a sensor. So we'll add dummy switch, give it a name and choose switch under types drop down menu. We also need a temperature and humidity virtual sensor to display data from our Sonoff TH sensor. Give it a name. Choose temperature and humidity under sensor type. If you are using DS18B20 temperature only sensor with Sonoff TH, then choose the temperature under sensor type. Here we can see our switch and virtual sensor. Note down their IDX number which will be used in Tasmata Demata's configuration. Input virtual sensor IDX number in sensor IDX2 temperature humidity. For switch we'll put the IDX number of virtual switch under IDX1 field. For temperature only sensor, we will be required to put the IDX in sensor IDX1 that is for temperature. Save the changes and data will start to appear under Demata's very soon. Here it goes. 
Now our sensor data is being displayed under Demodas. We can toggle the switch using virtual switch and state will be changed as expected. In our next video, we'll learn how to control the switch automatically depending upon temperature and humidity data. So, stay tuned.